Chutku was a good and obedient boy. He cleaned up the garden and watered all plants that day. He liked gardening. Chutku lived with his parents, his little sister and his grandmother Muktamma. On that same day, Pichku and his village got destroyed in torrents of water. They all fled to another ant village nearby. There Pichku met the great saint ant Chiti Baba. People said that Chiti Baba knew a great lot about the human gods and their heavenly abodes than anyone ever knew. When Chiti Baba saw Pichku and the other villagers, he laughed. The human gods were clearing their garden and watering the plants and that's how your houses and the village got destroyed. Pichku was shocked. Could the gods be so casual, so unknowing, so heartless? Didn't they care about us? There in the human world, Chutku's grandmother Muktamma was a shaman. She could feel, understand and communicate sometimes with other worlds and creatures. Muktamma giggled to Chutku. You cleaned and watered the garden. Now the uprooted wild shrubs are upset. The ants of the ant villages you destroyed are upset. The dying insects upon whom you stepped unknowingly, they are upset. Chutku said, well, the insects, unwanted ants, unwanted wild shrubs are everywhere. Some harm done couldn't be avoided. They should merely accept their fate. Muktamma compassionately looked upon Chutku. Remember then, you too must accept what others do to you as your fate. Accept all that befall you as your fate. Chutku wondered, did something like this happen? When we see in the news about devastating forest fires, volcanoes, tsunamis, etc. Are there larger gods out there? Are we like ants to them? Muktama looked at him and just smiled on.